Yeah, here we go. Guys, this is the, um, this is the shareholder meeting, okay? We all have shares, everybody, everybody in the American public, uh, taxpayers, we all have shares in Israel. Uh, so we're gonna have the state of where our money is going. Uh, here we go. Let's, let's go ahead and see what this guy's got to say. I'm a shareholder? I am too. I invested a lot of money this year. Holy fuck. A lot of money. I hope he's using my money fucking well. I hope- well, if you like blowing up hospitals, then I think that your money is going to the right place. If you don't like people that hide in hospitals, then you're in the right place. I mean, I, I really like- I'm gonna be honest, I really could give less of a fuck about what happens in Israel. Like, I'm sorry. And I think it's really fucking annoying that, like, the U.S. pays so much lip service to some random fucking country on the other side of the world. It's such a waste of our fucking time and money. Holy shit. I think it's really fucking annoying that, like, the U.S. pays so much lip service to some random fucking country on the other side of the world. It's such a waste of our fucking time and money. Holy shit. Like, imagine if we could get everybody together to virtue signal about how much, Im how, how much importance helping the people that are living on the street has. Right now, how about veterans that don't have access to medical- I think it's really fucking annoying that, like, the U.S. pays so much lip service to some random fucking country on the other side of the world. It's such a waste of our fucking time and money. Holy shit. Like, imagine if we could get everybody together to virtue signal about how much, Im how, how much importance helping the people that are living on the street has. Right now, how about veterans that don't have access to medical stuff? How about that? Who gives a fuck about this bullshit? cares about oh wow oh wow israel who cares ukraine is no different i know people don't like ukraine either i can understand why people's mitt raw is old mitt romney haven't seen him for a bit and uh i'm much more of a fan of of ukraine than than israel like in general i'm a supporter of ukraine in general uh, in, not in general pretty much entirely i'm not a supporter of of fucking israel like, Ukraine isn't blowing up hospitals in Russia. Not yet? Yeah, but when they do, then I'll say that Ukraine's bad. How about that? How's that sound? You want to agree with that? The U.S. fucked itself by rooting itself in the conflict? I think that a lot of the times that... The reason why people are, like, so... A lot of Congress people are afraid of criticizing Israel is because it gets turned into anti-Semitism. It's because of, like, the, uh, you know, original sin of the Nazis. That, by the way, we... St well, I wouldn't really say we, to be honest. Russia fucking stopped. Uh, a, a big portion of that is because of Russia. But, uh, you know, collectively, the world came together and stopped them, right? So, like, if anything, we should not... We should... That, that's not us. That's not... We, we fucking had a war to stop that shit. Speaker, I want to thank you for giving me the profound honor of addressing this great citadel of democracy for the fourth time. I didn't vote on this. I don't know what you're talking about democracy for. We meet today at a crossroads of history. Our world is in upheaval. In the Middle East, Iran's axis of terror confronts America, Israel, and our Arab friends. This is not a clash of civilizations. It's a clash between barbarism and civilization. It's a clash between those who glorify death and those who sanctify life. For the forces of civilization to triumph, America and Israel must stand together. For the forces of civilization to triumph, America and Israel must stand together. I need to text my accountant. I... I, I I need to make sure we have enough money for this. Because, because when we stand together, something very simple happens. 
We win, they lose. Of course. Of course, because we're a national, like a worldwide superpower, and Iran and Palestine is like nothing. Duh. And my friends, I came to assure you today of one thing. We will win. That's the problem. Ladies what and gentlemen, do we win? like December 7th, 1941, Holy fuck. and September 11th, 2001, December October 7th, 7th, December 7th is Pearl a day Harbor. that will forever live in infamy. You it think was that the Pearl... Jewish holiday of Simchat Torah. He it began to act a like that's... Day, not a cloud in the sky. Thousands of wow. young Israelis were celebrating at an outdoor music festival. And suddenly, at 6.29 a.m., as children were still sleeping soundly in their beds in the towns in Kibbutzim next to Gaza, suddenly, heaven turned into hell. 3,000 Hamas terrorists stormed into Israel. 3,000 Hamas terrorists stormed into Israel. They butchered 1,200 people from 41 countries. That's horrible. It was really bad this Americans. happened. It was really bad this happened, absolutely. Proportionately, compared to our population size, yeah, no. that's like 29 11s in one day. And these monsters, they raped women, they beheaded men, they burned babies alive. I'm so sick of this, They killed parents bro. in front of their children. You trying to act like this is like 9-11? And children in front of their parents. They dragged 255 people, both living and dead, into the dark dungeons of Gaza. Israel has already brought home 135 of these hostages, including seven who were freed in daring rescue operations. One of those freed hostages, Noor Gamani, is here in the gallery, sitting near my wife, Sarah. Biden wouldn't even get half this reception. The morning, mm -hmm. In the early hours of October 7th, Avichail heard the news of Hamas's bloody rampage. He put on his uniform, grabbed his rifle, but he didn't have a car. So he ran eight miles to the front lines of Gaza to defend his people. Yeah. Why are you promoting this war criminal? Imagine the plot twist if at the end of this he gets arrested leaving the address. <laughs> Imagine that. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Some of these protesters hold up signs proclaiming gays for Gaza. They might as well hold up signs saying chickens for KFC. <laughs> okay, this would be one of the ones I'd stand up and clap for. To be fair, hey. These protesters chant from the river to the <laughs> yeah. sea. But do many don't have a clue what river and what sea they're talking about. He's right about that. He wa Wait, did he watch the YouTube they not video? They get an F in geography, they get an F in history. They call Israel... They call Israel a colonialist state? Uh, I'll be honest. Don't they know he, this that is... the land of Israel is where Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob prayed, where Isaiah and Jeremiah preached, and where David and Solomon ruled? A colonialist state? Uh, I'll be honest. Don't they know he, this that is... the land of Israel is where Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob prayed, where Isaiah and Jeremiah preached, and where David and Solomon ruled? No, because we don't teach the Bible in school. Anti-Semitism is the world's oldest hatred. No, For it's not. The massacre of Jews was always preceded by wild accusations. We were accused of everything from poisoning wells, to spreading plagues, to using the blood of slaughtered children to bake Passover matzos. 
These preposterous anti-Semitic lies led to persecution, mass murder, and ultimately to history's worst genocide, the Holocaust. Is it the now, worst just one? As malicious lies. I actually were don't for know. Centuries at the Jewish people. Malicious I thought there was one even worse. At the Jewish state. There's like a Chinese no, no, one or walk. something. Listen. The outrageous slanders that paint Israel as racist and genocidal yeah, Mal, that's what I thought, yeah. are meant to delegitimize Israel, to demonize the Jewish state, and to demonize Jews everywhere. You see how that happens? Friends, whenever and wherever we see the scourge of anti-Semitism, we must unequivocally condemn it and resolutely fight it, without exception. Yeah, anti-Semitism is bad. True. Criminal court has shamefully accused Israel of deliberately starving the people of Gaza. This is utter, complete nonsense. It's a complete fabrication. I don't know enough about this to... I... Israel has enabled more than 40,000 aid trucks to enter Gaza. That's half a million tons of food. And that's more than 3,000 calories for every man, woman, and child in Gaza. If there are Palestinians in Gaza who aren't getting enough food, it's not because Israel is blocking it, it's because Hamas is stealing it. I think he's right about that, that probably a lot of people in Palestine don't like Hamas, but they're an oppressive force. I, I think he's probably right about that. That's the way a lot of oppressive forces like that become. So much for that lie, but here's another. I know there's a lot of people that are like fans of Trump here. But unfortunately, Trump pays lip service to this shit, too. He's there. My friends, if you remember one thing... It's a big reason. One thing from the speech, remember this. Our enemies are your enemies. Our fight is your fight. And our victory will be your victory. Can we vote on this? Like, ladies and gentlemen, when do we get Israel will do whatever it must do to restore security to our northern border and return our people safely to their homes. Israel will do whatever it must do. I think what they, I, I think I have an idea of what they think they must do. It's true, the best tank in the war Earth thunder pay to win threshold. The tech tree is an Israel tank. We also help keep yeah. American boots. We help keep Americans' boots Isn't off that the crazy? ground while protecting our shared interests in the Middle East. I think if you're playing from like an American IP address, you should be able to play that tank for free since you paid for it. We could call. I have a name for this new alliance. I think we should call it the Abraham Alliance. Oh, good. Let's get into an alliance based off President of a religion. Trump for his leadership in brokering the historic Abraham Accords. Uh-huh. Just what we need. We could call. I have a name for this new alliance. I think we should call it the Abraham Alliance. Oh, good. Let's get into an alliance based President off of a Trump religion. For his leadership in brokering the historic Abraham Accords. Uh huh. Just what we need. Why don't we call it the Crusades? <laughs> the Crusades, too. Like Americans, Israelis were relieved that President. I know how much the people of this country have sacrificed to defend freedom. America will be continued yeah. to be a force for light and good in a dark and dangerous world. That's true. For free peoples everywhere, America remains the beacon of liberty its extraordinary founders envisioned back in 1776. How is it that there's less enthusiasm for people clapping for America than Israel? Prosperity and peace. In this noble mission, as in many others, 
Israel will always Bernie is not there at a protest. Indispensable ally. Through thick and thin. Yeah. You know where Bernie was, though, back in the day? He was at the civil rights rallies. Yeah. Bro, that dude stood on business. Through thick and thin. Always 